What's up, data pipeliners? In today's episode, we're going to be talking about creating starter template projects for Kedro. Starter projects allow you to create a custom project for Kedro that can be reused as the starting template for your new Kedro projects. This means that any custom code that you have inside of a project can be easily replicated every single time you want to create a new Kedro project. So it's effectively your boilerplate generator. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So one popular example of a starter that we use on this channel all the time is the Iris dataset. This allows you to create an example project with Kedro, which includes the Iris data, as well as the simple transformations that go through the data, and finally the output that comes from that data. And so you can see how by having a method to generate all of that extra code for us, it's very easy to reuse that pipeline over and over and over again in these videos. In organizations that are using Kedro, oftentimes you're going to have custom implementations to connect to your data warehouse or your databases. And so by using a starter, you're able to codify those custom integrations into every single new project that you create instead of having to either A, share a library file, or B, copy and paste code, which you definitely shouldn't be doing. So here we're gonna take a look at the Kedro Starter documentation. According to the documentation, Kedro starters are used to create projects that contain code to run as is or to adapt and extend. And the example that they gave here also is the Iris dataset example. Starters use the cookie cutter library that comes with Python. It's a way that you can create these different boilerplate codes, but still have a means by which you can inject your own variables. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm gonna create a new project here and I'm gonna call this project the cookie cutter demo. This will make it easier for us to generate some code that we can make into a cookie cutter project. And so now we have this cookie cutter demo project. I'm gonna open this up in PyCharm just to make things easier for me. And so the three variables that we get access to are the project name, the repo name, and the Python package name. And these come from the CLI when you do generate a Kedro project. So let's see how we can access these cookie cutter variables inside of our project. Scrolling down here, we can see that using the example starter as an example, this is the pandas iris starter, we can go over here into GitHub and take a look at the pipeline itself. Here you can see we have a cookie cutter repo name as the name of the repo and the cookie cutter package name as the name of the package. This gives you a point of injection where the cookie cutter variables can be deployed. So for our case, we can actually do something very similar here. Instead of calling this guy, for example, the cookie cutter demo, we're going to call this guy bracket bracket cookie cutter repo name, as well as we're going to rename the package to be cookie cutter Python package. Boom. And so now this allows us to create these cookie cutter projects. This project name can be injected into the project context. And so we can just go ahead and override the project name variable and make it that cookie cutter variable. And now we have a cookie cuttable project. Going back into my terminal, I'm going to go ahead and install cookie cutter by typing in pip install cookie cutter. Once the cookie cutter package has been installed, we can use the cookie cutter command to create a new template project. We're going to create a directory called cookie cutter template example. And we're going to move our new repo, which has been renamed already, into the cookie cutter template example. Now that we've moved the project into a new template folder, I'm going to CD into that cookie cutter template example, and I'm going to create a cookie cutter JSON file. This JSON file allows you to map the variables that cookie cutter comes with to the respective variables that you're looking for. And in our case, we're actually just going to copy the cookie cutter JSON file that is available inside of the Kedro starter pandas iris starter. 
And now that we've added that JSON file, we should be able to use this project as a proper template. Reopening PyCharm, I'm just going to modify one value here, and that value is underneath the project run.py. I'm just going to go ahead and add in an extra hello, just to prove that we are actually creating something. Now I'm going to type in Kedro new starter, and I'm going to give it the cookie cutter template example path. For the new project name, I'm just going to call it the cookie cutter template example project example. We're going to keep that repository name, that package name, and we have now created the cookie cutter template example project example. Looking inside here, it looks exactly like a normal project, and let's see if our custom hello made it into the final source code. Opening up the run.py file, we find the project name cookie cutter template example project example hello, which is exactly what we were looking for over here on this site. And so you can see by creating a catcher project and adding in the repo name variable as well as the Python package variable, you can create any sort of starter that you wish to create. And so I highly recommend that you use this method if you want to create a package that allows users to download starter template boilerplate code that you are looking to get to everyone. And that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, if you guys have any questions about this video, be sure to leave a comment in the Kedro community. I'm Data Engineer One. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, button that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.